Right now I want to show you the RAM dash HL dash AP8L, which is the RAM mount locking custom cradle for the Apple iPad. You can see up here at the top you have the uh, pin and the four number com uh, combination barrel up the top here. So right now it's on the um, combination or how it comes as default with just the uh, dots through here. And you can actually pull the pin in and out which allows this latch to go up and down. So it's locked, pull it out and the latch opens and closes. You can actually open it and push the pin back in and it holds it up and close again. Now uh, on the back of this you'll see there's four mounting locations on this tray, on this cradle. And that's designed for the RAM 202 or RAM B202. This is the RAM B202 and this is the RAM 202. And what they are is a round two and a half inch plate. This is the uh, C size ball, this is the B size ball, which is the one inch and this is the one and a half inch in diameter. And they just mount on here using the hardware that's included with the, the cradle. And then you once you connect one of these onto here, in this case the C, or as I said before, the B, once you find the perfect location for your cradle, you bolt that on there with the included hardware, and then you can connect it to any of the RAM mounting systems. In this case, I've got a suction cup where you can just tighten up the, the arm, and there you go, you've got a suction cup mount for your uh, Apple iPad, and as I said before, this is a locking version of the tray. There is a non-locking version uh, you can get, but I'm just right now talking about the locking version. So that's how you connect a mount to the back. The mount I just showed you isn't included with this uh, cradle on its own, but that's how it works. Now you can see the front here, there is actually a notch here for your volume and your um, orientation lock. And there's also the notch up here, which is uh, available for the same thing. So what you can do with your iPad, let me just get it unlocked, is with the orientation, and volume here, the lock, you can actually lay it down this way if you choose, if you prefer the button to be there, or you can actually switch this around, let me unlock it, switch this around and lay it in the other direction and still have access to all of the, the buttons in either direction. So that's how that works. Um, and the beauty of this uh, cradle and the RAM mounting system is once it's actually mounted to a RAM mount, simply just turn the knob on the side of the mount and you can rotate this very easily which means once this is connected to your cradle, if you want to go and change orientation, it's just a spin. So very easily you can just have this mount on the back of your cradle and you can just rotate from landscape to portrait very easily like so with your cradle. So that's how this locking cradle works but one thing I do want to show you is how to actually change the combination on this. So on the back here I don't know if you can see there's a little uh, groove cut out here where you can move once you pull the pin out you can actually flick this little groove piece down I don't know if you can see that right there there's just that little notch right there that rolls in this little uh, opening here and once you've opened that up and push that push that down you can now change the combination then you re-release this notch and now this moves in and out to the new combination so that's how easy it is to change it so there you have it the ram locking custom cradle for the apple ipad